What do you consider are your top three barriers to the adoption of property technology? One is the, uh, the reluctance to go for out-of-the-box solutions. Um, the other one is uh, budgets uh, that, um, that people have to think um, you need to spend on customer experience, not, not only uh, um, on things that make your finance department happy. Yeah. And number three would be, um, um, uh, I guess, I don't know. I, I, okay. Th 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 those Reluctance, budget, and uptake. Okay. Yeah. Said, what are your top three? three. Yeah. If you can give us in three words, just trying to ripple through so we can get a couple of questions done. Yeah. Yeah. I think about uh, the misuse of technology. Yeah. And the disalignment between the business requirements and the technology. Yeah. And definitely the budget constraints. Okay. And the willing to invest in a proper technology to be able to accommodate the requirements. Okay. And from the developer, Wasim, your three words? Uh, so in times of property management and um, property developer as well, uh, there are three constraints. So on the top of the barrier is adoption of the technology. So it has to be uh, accepted by the end user. So this is one of the barrier because once you create technology, you have to educate them to ensure that they use your technology so that you can get a data to see how beneficial it is. Um, second, we have already discussed about the integration because mm -hmm. it sometimes got quite expensive to create all the technology in-house. So you have to have integration with different service providers. And third is, as we all discussed, is financial constraint. Okay. So there's your challenge. You train up the technicians, and at the same time, the government increases mobility to encourage transfer of knowledge, and the team you've trained up move on. So retaining that's one. We'll start with you next time, Saeed. I'll put you on the spot first off. Second question. Digitalization is a, not a global phenomenon, but it's a well-accepted uh, process. What do you see is more relevant to the GCC Middle East region than the rest of the world? What makes it so important here? Well, I don't, I don't see there's a difference in the requirements between the GCC and any other place uh, in the world. Uh, I believe we are adop adopting to the best technology standards and real estate mm -hmm. standards. So we work across different countries in this region and we've never came across any requirement that we have not thought about or came across it in different places in the world. But definitely you come to certain processes or, you know, techniques that's very unique to this market. Yeah. An example can be a post-dated check. An example can be billing your tenants based on the lease anniversary, yeah. not based on a monthly basis, right? So such challenges can be, you know, um, uh, a barrier in terms of technology adoption, right? Because yeah. having a certain requirement which can be complex to a certain extent, right, can be challenging to accommodate through uh, a technology platform. True. And what we've seen even in this country is the transfer of attitude towards debt management between a bounced post-dated check when there yeah. was defaulting here 13, 14 years ago, and that was a prisonable offence. Yeah. Now it's a less so, but as we move towards the touchless transfer, there are still landlords asking for these things called post dated checks. Wasim, what is unique about GCC and EMEA compared to the rest of the world? So, um, when we talk about digital transformation in GCC countries, um, most of us, the most of the people, residents now, we can see the trend is expects. A lot of expats are traveling to GCC. Uh, we talk about Middle East, we talk about Dubai, we talk about uh, Riyadh. So, their expectation is already high. Um, so, they have awareness, they have acceptability and they have a high benchmark, so their expectation level is quite high. Um, however, one of the challenge which I believe is still is there, which we need to cater is about um, privacy policies. We discussed about drones, mm. that drones can do the inspection of your project, but how soon we can implement this, how free it is, if I want to have uh, my building inspection to be done through a drone facility, how many process I have to go through to get this solution done. Okay. So I believe this is Understood. one of the challenges. And you're us, your last one then? Yeah, um, so I, uh, I agree that the, the, the people, the cu customer base in the region is very tech savvy and they're all open to using mobile apps and digital technology, et cetera. I think the challenge is on the property manager side and specifically for our industry um, is the lack of um, um, uh, like standing orders for like with debit cards or credit cards for paying rent. 
um, doing digital leases without signatures that aren't accepted in every jurisdiction. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and as you said, post-dated checks is a big issue. So yeah. you typically have a problem taking a global product and then um, uh, deploying it locally or regionally. Okay. Understood. Sorry, came at one answer. We won't have time, unfortunately, for a third set. Is there anybody uh, who has a pending question in particular? Burning. Yes, sir. Regulations in this region. If you want to bring a global solution to the region, most global solutions are strategically designed to be on cloud. There are some limitations of what can be done in this region in terms of cloud solutions, in particular the kingdom. You're talking um, about the technology system. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's about hosting of the technology. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they always prefer to have it on their premises rather than a cloud solution. From your experience, are you seeing any signs of shift in those particular areas in terms of governance to allow for further escalation or further uh, expansion of the digital transformations? Anyone in particular? Said? Um, very valid question, and we are coming across <laughs> these challenges nowadays in most of the countries we operate, uh, China is an example, or Saudi Arabia is another example. So now in the kingdom, for you to do business, cloud solution is accepted, but your data center should be within the kingdom, yeah. right? And the disaster recovery side as well, you know, for business continuity should be in the kingdom as well. So in other words, yeah. cloud solution is more than welcome, but it has to be hosted within the kingdom, right? And I believe, you know, unfortunately the world is opening to each other, but we are closing the data to each uh, mm. geography, like Europe or UK or the US, China, Middle East, and so on. But I think, you know, having data centers in different countries and regions shouldn't be a problem. It's just additional mm. investment from the service provider uh, perspective and shouldn't be a problem in providing cloud-based solutions, right? And I believe the future is cloud, you know, in, from all the perspectives. So when we talk AI, when we talk big data, all of this can't be achieved without having your solution on cloud. 